So when you think of wine regions in this country, you'll probably think about places like Niagara or the Okanagan Valley. Well, Quebec has a booming wine industry as well. In fact, it's home to one of the most unique wines in the world. And I had a chance to meet the owners of Omerto. It's a company that makes wine using tomatoes instead of grapes. They're located in Charlevoix, Quebec, and they have charmed people around the globe with their one-of-a-kind creations. Here it is. This massive body of water is the St. Lawrence River, and I'm in Bay St. Paul, one of the best places to take in the seaway. The river connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean, and for centuries, it has been a vital route for trade and development. Just a couple of hours further east is Tadoussac, Quebec, and between May and October, it's one of the best places in the world to see all types of whales that come there to feed over the summer. You might remember our friend Jess Smith took a tour a couple of years ago, and it was a truly magical experience. From here, we're going to travel just a little further north to check out a winery in Charlevoix that makes one of the most unique wines in the world. You'll see what I mean. Omerto is a facility that makes wine from tomatoes. Yeah, you heard that right, tomatoes, and I have so many questions. Lucy, first of all, how did all of this get started? What's the story? Well, the story goes in Belgium in the 1930s, Omer. That was the great-grandfather of my husband, Pascal Mich, that had the idea of making tomato wine because he had too much tomato. So that's why the name is Omer and Toll for Tomato. Oh, okay. And my husband had the chance to know his great-grandfather till the age of 12. Pascal always promised him that he would continue the recipe. How did it go from Belgium to Canada? Well, my husband came in 1998, and after I met him in 2001, we had the project to uh, develop uh, the tomato wine. So we decided to come in uh, the area of uh, Charlevoix because it's really known for food and uh, drink. You are the first winery to not only make this in tomato wine in Canada, but in the entire world. Yeah. How did people react when you said we have tomato wine. Some people are very curious, you know, they ask, uh, does it taste like a uh, tomato sauce? No, it's different, completely different. It's going to be a different way to taste the tomato, you know. Okay, and, uh, speaking of tasting, you have some set up for me to try. Okay, sure. Okay, Lucy, the very first thing I noticed is that it's not red. Because in the tomato, you don't have the tannin that you have in the grapes. If you crush, squeeze it, the liquid is uh, clear. Here, I waited specifically for this moment to try it. What are we testing first? It's the Omerto Dry. Has a strong peppery taste. So at first, you have more the grain alcohol notes like grappa. At the end, you'll have more the citrus aroma. Yes. This is lovely and nothing, I have to tell you, it doesn't taste anything like tomatoes. I had to get that image out of my head. This mm -hmm. is really lovely. So you and I are the benefit of, of drinking this, but it is your husband, Pascal, who comes up with the combinations and the flavors and all of that. He's the creator of all the recipe. His hamster is always turning, you know. <laughs> He's always thinking about new things. Okay, the second one, the semi-dry, aged two years in the barrel. So a bit of smoky, woody taste with aged cognac notes and scotch a bit. Yeah, this is what I'm tasting. Like, it's really But not smooth. with the alcohol level. All right, I've cleared my palate. Let's do the next yeah. two. The two others are a bit different, so less dry, a bit sweeter, but not as sweet as dessert wine. Okay. And the last one is the moeller that we age in a barrel of uh, chestnut and cherry. This one, you have more of a uh, rose petal notes, Armagnac notes also. Oh, gorgeous. You've also done cocktails. Yeah. Okay, these are new. Oh yeah, that smells really so, fresh. So of course, you're gonna smell a lot the cucumber. You can smell it a lot. Uh, the ginger comes after. Yes. And then what about this last one? The yeah. packaging is beautiful. This one was made in honor of Josephine Baker. Nice. Because we are a friend with uh, one of her children. So it's in honor of her personality. Oh. So that's why we named it Audacious. Thank you so much for this. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you for this experience, it was amazing. I know you're still thinking it, but it doesn't taste like tomatoes. It really tastes like wine made from grapes. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.